Hi Aquarius, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Okay, I want to go ahead and thank all my new subscribers for coming on over. Welcome to my channel. I want to also thank you all who have been supporting my channel. I'm very appreciative of you all. I appreciate you all. Infinite blessings your way, okay, tenfold. Thank you for anyone who decided to book their personal readings with me. I also appreciate you as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tap in and get a general overall energy read for Aquarius and see what's going on with Aquarius. So if you have your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node in Aquarius, again, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node in Aquarius, this should... Um, resonate if it doesn't then it's okay it's just simply not your message and feel free to join us another day okay i have my window open so you may hear birds all right so let's see what it is we need to know about you today aquarius <clears throat> yeah i'm getting some of you guys may have moved out from living with a narcissist in the past You followed the caution warning and you went towards somebody who, I'm sorry, you walked away from someone who was showing signs of caution. Like you needed to be cautious about this person. For some of you, not all of you. Okay. Let's see what else I can get for you. There's a loud, you know, a loud ambulance coming by. I'm sorry. Or police car. Okay, let's see. What do we need to know at this time about Aquarius? So there is a love lost one that watches over you. Maybe they are watching over a commitment that you're in at this time or trying to get in. What else for Aquarius Spirit? Okay, yeah, there is a love lost one. Um, did I say a love lost one? A lost loved one watching over you at this time, okay? Did I pray? Let me go ahead and pray first, okay? Holy Spirit, holy angels, holy ancestors, all divine beings of the spirit realm, all gods and goddesses of the highest forms of the highest of light, all divine beings of the highest of light, please tap in and protect my Aquarius Collective. As I channel a message for Aquarius. Okay, also return any black magic to anyone that has sent any black magic. Please protect me as I channel and open up my chakras as well. And anything that is not of the highest forms of light is not welcome and must leave, okay? So let me go ahead and start. So there is a love lost, a lost loved one that is watching over you. Okay, there may have been a situation where you were with someone in the past, possibly a Taurus or an Aries. <clears throat> I'm getting someone got in the middle of the connection, okay? Somebody tried to sabotage this connection between you and your person. Possibly an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or another Aquarius. What else, Spirit? I'm getting some of you guys may have also gotten a divorce or broken up with this person in the past regarding this. Capricorn energy is out here. Pisces. <clears throat> Excuse me. So somebody may be having health issues or had health issues in the past. Or somebody needs to get their health checked out. Possibly a Cancer, Leo, or Gemini. Doesn't have to be. Okay, so problems, somebody has problems with addiction and gambling. But they just have bad financial, bad financial issues. Okay, yeah, so somebody had problems with addictions or gambling. You know, somebody wasn't good with their finances. I'm getting you paid attention to this and you trusted your intuition. 
because you knew that the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later. Okay, I'm getting that you are in the process of manifesting. You're telling the universe exactly what you wanted this time. Yeah, you're manifesting something. Okay, Spirit is cautioning you to move on because someone is unavailable. They are a waste of time at this time, okay? This person you may be close to or may have been long distance to in the past or emotionally distant to in the past. Spirit wants you to move on, okay? Somebody wants to compromise. Some of you may have already moved on from this person, but somebody wants to communicate something to you and try to work it out and ask for forgiveness. Yeah, somebody might feel stuck in a situation. Whether this is you, and you feel stuck and you want to travel, or you feel stuck doing this Mercury retrograde, I'm getting you will be traveling soon. You will be going on vacation. What's this intimacy in reverse? Okay. Yeah, Spirit wants you to take caution and find out a little bit more information about a situation. It looks like somebody used to have sexual chemistry in the past. This person may be reminiscing about you. But I'm getting your, you don't have any intimacy with this person anymore. Let's see what else. <clears throat> This could be, again, a Libra or a Virgo. Doesn't have to be. Somebody is spying on you, though. They're doing their research on you. Um, somebody wants to wants you to open up your heart. But Spirit is saying it's just not the time. Okay? It will help you attract the love you are desiring if you open up your heart. But you are being to open up your heart for the right person but spirit is cautioning you about somebody from your past yeah I'm getting you may have moved out you may have lived with this person and you may have moved out but spirit wants you to be open to love open up your heart spirit is uh, saying that you may be going on a date and you need to get ready to be wined and dined Okay, or this person wants to take you out on a date and wine and dine you. But somebody, somebody has put you under some sort of love spell. They bewitched you, it looks like, in the past. Maybe a narcissist. Okay, someone is too full of themselves. Somebody definitely put you under some sort of love spell. So that you could possibly open up your heart to them and date them. But Spirit wants you to make a decision at this time to work on your inner healing, okay? Spirit definitely wants you to work on your inner healing. Spirit doesn't want you stuck on this water sign, this Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or this person is stuck on you. Okay, they may even want to come forward and confess something to you and tell you something. They may tell you that a pet, a pet passed away or something happened to their pet. Or this is you and one of your pets passed away. I'm so sorry to hear that. If that's the case, Aquarius. Okay. So I'm getting luck is on your side at this time. You may be seeing um, ladybugs. And ladybugs represent abundance. So you guys definitely have some sort of luck on your side. Let's see. What else? Yeah, there is a fire sign. In your energy that was a liar in the past. This Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This person was very sneaky. Okay, yeah. Spirit wants you to give something time, Aquarius. Everything is going to happen the way it's supposed to in divine timing. Just give something time, okay? Okay, let's see. My allergies are acting up. Oh, it's springtime. I love spring, but these allergies... Okay, so some of you guys may have allergies too. Okay, so let's see. What do Aquarius need to know at this time? What do Aquarius need to know? 
Yeah, somebody's like family may have been doing something in the past. Someone's family may have been doing some sort of kitchen magic. But I'm getting this magic didn't work. Yeah, somebody may have been doing magic, uh, possibly a Gemini or a Taurus, or even a Cancer. Yeah, I'm getting Spirit is asking you to love on your kids at this time. If you have kids, Aquarius, Spirit doesn't want you to ever let someone project their insecurities and their fears onto you. There may be somebody trying to project their fears and insecurities on you, whether this person did this in the past or they're doing it now. Okay, this may be an Aries or a Pisces doing this or another Aquarius. I'm getting somebody may be going to the police station about something or somebody may be going to jail. What is this new card? Yeah, the person. Okay, so yeah, there may have been a Leo involved. I'm getting somebody's, or you're seeing a Leo. Yeah, I'm getting somebody maybe have went to jail. This person lost their car. Or their pers this person's car isn't working or something. Or they don't have a car. Possibly a Cancer or a Gemini or a Leo. I'm getting animals are keeping you safe at this time. Have you seen any cats? There may have been cats that have been protecting you from this kitchen magic in the past. Yeah, I'm getting you guys are definitely um, working hard on your solar plexus energies. Um, there may have been a solar plexus blockage and you're trying to manifest and restore it. And there also may have been a Cancer or a Leo in your energy whose uh, heart chakra was closed off. This person definitely loved talking to you in the past. But I'm getting you decided to move on from this person or you're starting to keep distance. You're starting to balance things with this person like slowly but surely you're starting to let this person go. Somebody may be unemployed as well. Okay, yeah, I'm getting, there is maybe a Virgo or a Leo that is involved in a cult <clears throat> of some sort. And I meant to actually say they were involved in into the occult, not a cult, but the occult. So somebody could be in some sort of cult as well. Some sort of cult, I'm hearing sex cult. Yeah, somebody was a, in a karmic relationship with a Virgo. Somebody, this Virgo could not tell the truth. They were dishonest. Okay, I'm getting you guys are definitely about to get gifted something. There's going to be balance restored in your life. You may hit the lottery. Spirit wants you to play the lottery. There may be an opportunity to hit the lottery for you at this time. It may be a lucky streak. Okay. So if you don't hit, don't get mad at me, please. But Spirit is saying this might be a good, you know, if you're meant for it. At this time, play the lottery. You never know. You could hit. You are in a lucky streak right now, Aquarius. It may not feel like it, but you are. Yeah, there was a, a narcissistic feminine energy in a lot of you guys' energy. Some There was a narcissistic uh, person in your energy. Well, this could be a feminine energy or a masculine energy. Take it how it fits. Remember to take what resonates and leave the rest. If it doesn't fit, it's okay. It's just not your message. Okay, I'm getting you guys are spending a lot of time alone at this time. You guys may have spent a lot of time alone in the past. Okay, freeing your mind and trying to get things clear. Some of you guys may have been singers or poets or you're really good at writing. What else? Spirit wants you to trust your ancestors and your guides, Aquarius, okay? They are leading you towards something and they're trying to tell you something. So make sure you're trusting them. This may be a, a 
feminine ancestor that's trying to tell you something in your sleep, possibly like a grandmother or aunt or a cousin. Yeah, trust your trust your guides at this time. They are trying to lead you in the correct direction. They're trying to lead you somewhere that's going to bring in a lot of abundance and creativity for you as well. I'm getting somebody had to, somebody had settled in the past because they were afraid to change. And they didn't want to learn their lesson. Possibly a Sagittarius or a Scorpio or a Capricorn. Yeah, somebody was a big attention seeker. And they just did not want to learn their lesson. Somebody was not ascended. They were stuck. Okay. This person may have came back when they were in that energy where they were not healed and they were not, they didn't do any work on themselves. Or this person may come back in the next two months. Or something's going to be going on in two months for you. But I'm getting, <clears throat> excuse me, Aquarius. You may feel like you're not going to make it out of a situation. But Spirit wants to remind you that you are free. You are an air sign. Okay? So wind and the air is invisible. It's free. It's light. You guys are forever free. Forever light. You'll make it out of any situation. Spirit wants you to know that. Keep going. You just need to keep it light. Keep it light. Free your mind. And just focus on centering yourself, grounding yourself, okay? Things are gonna things are gonna work out regarding possibly a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be, or a Libra. You are getting some sort of spiritual justice or physical justice for a situation regarding this person. Something may come in two months. I'm getting you guys definitely no sacred knowledge or you're learning sacred knowledge. It's the best knowledge. Knowledge of self. Yeah, I'm getting somebody was definitely not wise. They were definitely not awakened. And they may have even been involved with some dark forces. Spirit does not want you to have a heavy heart at this time. Spirit wants you to have um, a light heart. We just talked about this. Spirit wants you to have a light heart. A heart of forgiveness, okay? A heart of acceptance. You are being told to set some goals at this time. Okay, you're being told to set some goals at this time and start planning for your in your 3D reality, okay? You're being told to get moving and motivated and start planning towards your future. Okay, so I am getting um, that some of you guys are setting goals and making plans in the 3D. Yeah, Spirit just wants you to be patient and kind. Show a little love and compassion um, and not take offense. Spirit wants you to work on forgiveness. So your abundance can come into your life, Aquarius. Somebody may, there may have been a Pisces that was pregnant in the past. This person may have lost the baby. I'm so sorry to hear that. Okay, yeah. Uh, you guys are definitely working on your independence at this time. Good for you. Let's see. What else for Aquarius? What else? <clears throat> this is your era, Aquarius. This is your year. The year of healing. Okay, let's see what I can get for you. What else does Aquarius need to know? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node in Aquarius. Yeah, there is someone mirroring in your energy. Some, this person may be mirroring you or you're mirroring each other. Spirit is asking you to do some self-reflection at this time, okay? Definitely do some introspection and work on those inner wounds. This, Or for some of you, you've done this already or you're currently doing it. You're working on your self-worth and your value, like you're learning your value, you're healing, you're doing the shadow work. You're finally learning to appreciate yourself, I'm getting, okay? You may have been separated from someone in the past. 
and it made you feel like a little bitter and uncertain about the future. Yeah, somebody was definitely thinking about you. But this person may have been very codependent and obsessive. Somebody was very codependent and obsessive. Yeah, I'm getting, this was definitely a karmic relationship in the past, possibly with a Cancer or a Leo. And you may have ended up resenting someone, okay? You may have resented this person because this person triggered you and made you look at yourself in the mirror. There was something that this person caused, like a trigger towards you. Yeah, I'm getting that you guys got some sort of clarity and truth. Got like a revelation about this person. Yeah, you got some sort of like knowledge about someone. <clears throat> and now I'm getting, you guys are definitely headed towards happiness and joy. You're being playful. Some of you may be going to the beach or traveling to Jamaica or the Bahamas or something. I'm here in Puerto Rico. Some of you guys are going to be going on a vacation. Yeah, you're going to be going with a partner that you may just spend some time enjoying each other. Some of you may be in a honeymoon phase. Some of you may have gotten married or you're married, okay? You went into union with someone, possibly a Scorpio or a Leo. Or this person wants to come into union with you and marry you. Yeah, I'm getting... You're devoted to someone and someone's definitely devoted to you. But there is somebody that still looks at your pictures. They still miss you. They're still nostalgic about you. Okay, this person was a love, uh, a love bomb. They were a love bomber, though. They liked to the love bomb. This person was a narcissist. Okay, they were definitely one-sided. Which is why you had to evolve and grow. So you could go to the next phase in your life. You decided to go in hermit mode and heal. You started working on healing your inner child. So you could release the past and cut this out. Some of you may have gotten a divorce. Yeah, you decided to give somebody the silent treatment. You decided to cut someone out and give someone the silent treatment. Or you need to do this, okay? This may be past or present energy. So please take it how it resonates. It could be this could be a timeless message, which means that you can watch it at any time period and it could resonate. Yeah, I'm getting this person, this person that you cut out was very unconventional. They had a lot of options. Yeah, this person strung you along. Somebody was very, like, somebody had a lot of baggage, okay? This person carried a lot of baggage. But now somebody's ready to take off the mask. They want to take off the mask. I mean, they may have hid their feelings in the past. They may have pretended and all of that. But now they're ready to take off the mask and balance the situation with you, okay? But somebody sabotaged this, I'm getting. And now they're thinking, oh, I can rebuild it. Let's work on it. <laughs> yeah, but I'm getting somebody's health may be compromised. Somebody somebody may have health issues. Or they don't have a healthy lifestyle. Or they don't make healthy choices. Somebody may not love themselves enough or care. Like they don't practice self-care for themselves enough. Yeah, somebody somebody just they kind of they're kind of toxic. Let's see, what else? Yeah, I'm getting you took a chance on this person in the past, but you're not doing that again. Okay, yeah, you're 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 being struck by love at this time with this Cupid arrow out here. You're gonna have something better. Some of you already found this person, or some of you will be finding this person. Yeah, spirit wants you to have faith because love is coming your way. There's gonna be a surprise invitation that you get. That may uh, struck you by surprise, okay? Okay, so I'm also getting that this person may have had a lot of 
codependencies. Um, they may have been in the, uh, or you may, I'm trying to figure out whose energy this is. Whoever this is, you're going to have to take it how it resonates. But somebody is in a chaser phase where they have a fear of abandonment. They're chasing. Uh, they have codependencies. I'm getting that's being balanced. Somebody is balancing that. Okay, somebody does need to take time healing, though. A Scorpio, possibly. This person you cut out in the past, this person is stuck on you. And they need to take the time to heal. Yeah, this person is definitely just... They run towards temptation and third parties. They hook up with people, date them, and they run after seduction. They, they're, they run after sex, basically. But somebody is learning from the past, okay? They they are seeing it from a different perspective. Somebody's starting to reminisce and look at their old photos. Hoping that you guys can make new memory memories. I'm getting this person definitely broke your heart in the past. They were deceptive though. They lied to you. And that was something that shocked you. But this person is maybe even stalking you. They're, they may be watching you. They may know where you live or they may know where you hang out. This person may be watching watching you on social media. And I'm getting somebody's throat chakra is blocked because I keep getting tongue-tied. Okay, somebody wants to tell you something, but they, they, don't know, they don't have the words to. Yeah, somebody's definitely watching you. And you're like, go ahead and watch. I'll blow you a kiss because I'm focused on unconditional love at this time. Now somebody wants to give you an equal give and take. Somebody wants to have an equal give and take situation with you, okay? Something that's fair. Something where affection is returned. Or I'm getting you decided to love yourself and give yourself unconditional love, okay? And this is what attracted this proposal or this marriage into your life. Somebody who is better for you. Because this soulmate... You showed this person unconditional love, but they didn't show it in return. They showed you conditional love. Yeah, this was somebody that could have been a path, like a soulmate in the past. Yeah, I'm getting this person definitely block your abundance. And you had to set up boundaries with someone because somebody was not awakened. They were using you. Somebody was running away. They had a fear of intimacy. They had a fear of like being close to someone and it's really hurt you this made you feel lost and made you feel like you were like grieving literally grieving some of you guys grieve this person and i'm sorry to hear that this was a lot of pain okay for you to leave this commitment you guys may have turned down an engagement with this person yes yeah, spirit wants you to get out get back out there if you are I'm looking today. It's time to get back out there if you're interested in dating so you can meet somebody new, okay? Spirit wants you to set a date or maybe find start dating online. But first you need to be get first you need to get grounded. Okay, spirit definitely wants to make sure that you're grounded so that way you can attract the love that you deserve. Okay. I'm getting some of you guys maybe going out to get coffee with a friend. Or you may go out on a date with someone that you've been meeting and talking with to get coffee. Somebody may express their love to you there or that they're thinking about you. Somebody may call and tell you this. Yeah, I'm getting this person was a snake though in the past. And they're still not ascended. They're stuck in their, their way of thinking, it seems like. Somebody's definitely stuck in an old way of thinking. Okay, Aquarius, what else do we have for you? Ooh, that was loud. I'm sorry about that. What do we have for my Aquarius? I'm getting good energy from you guys, so you may be affected from this Mercury retrograde, and you may be just, some of you may be forgetful, or you just may be having some technology issues, but things are going to definitely improve here soon. Mercury is about to go back uh, upright pretty soon okay it's gonna go back upright soon okay so let's see what else we have for you Aquarius okay so we have these in reverse 
And I am going to go through this and see what I can find out. this is for you Aquarius <clears throat> yeah so you definitely rejected someone in your past okay and I'm getting you decided to go in a different direction or you were guided to take a different direction by some like opposing forces possibly yeah I'm getting you guys need to confront something head-on so this card right here, this card means victory is guaranteed. But the challenges you encounter along the way are as important as the achievement itself. Any setback is a setup for your success. So anything that's meant to set you back is actually going to be setting you on the right path for success. It's kind of like the energies are balanced and it's pushing you in the right direction. So spirit does not want you to take no for an answer. When it comes to something, Spirit wants you to keep going. Whether this is for a goal, Spirit wants you to keep going. You're being pushed in the right direction. Any setbacks you're having, it's only because you're, you're meant to learn something from it so that way you can use it in your path. All right? You're going to have a life-altering, heartfelt choice to make. But this is going to be about an aligned relationship that you may be getting yourself into. Uh, this card means you are being guided to choose yourself and whatever or whoever reflects your most authentic and loving expression. Yeah, some of you guys may be like on a dating website and you may be dating and you don't know who to choose. You could be going between a water or air sign. Doesn't have to be. Or there could be a Taurus involved or an Aries involved. Yeah, there is going to be... Um, an important relationship or an opportunity to collaborate coming up or a deeply fulfilling connection is acting as a mirror for how you view and value your heart, your time, and your growth. Yeah, earlier we got a card that said mirroring. There's a connection that is mirroring something that you need to learn. Something is meant to teach you a lesson. It's meant to mirror how you view and value your heart, Aquarius, how you value your time, and how you value your growth. Why you make choices is more than the consequences of the choice. So something is meant to mirror why you why you keep making the same choice. Why do you keep repeating the same cycle? There's something that needs to be seen at this time, okay? I'm definitely getting you guys may need to go on and do some uh, sort of shadow work. There may be some inner healing that needs to be done. We are in the Mercury retrograde. This is a time, this is a shadow period. Okay. And if this was a water sign you were involved with, possibly a Pisces, somebody is not doing the work. It doesn't have to be a Pisces. It could be a Cancer or a Scorpio as well. Yeah, this person is not doing the work. They, they're not doing the shadow work. Um, it says interrogating shame, reframing harmful narratives. This card calls on you to face parts of yourself that you've been taught are bad. Look within the dark corners of your psyche and your heart and consider the gray area where no part of you is all good or bad. Have the courage to face what you may have been conditioned to believe is unworthy of seeing light because all of you is worthy. Yeah, some of you guys may be hiding a part of yourself and you need to do uh, some shadow work. You need to understand why it is you do what you do, okay? You need to also learn that you are not a bad person. There's nothing bad about you. Spirit wants you to look into your psyche and examine. Where do these feelings come from? Like, why do I feel like there are parts of me that's bad? There's nothing about you that's bad. All of you is worthy of the love that you deserve. All of you is worthy, Aquarius. Okay, so, yeah, some of you guys definitely need to find the time to face these, like do some shadow work. I'm getting some of you guys may have done this in the past already and you're, you're moving in alignment. So this is for some of you Aquarius who actually have to do this now. Okay, I'm getting you guys also were like of service to someone. 
Have you helped someone a lot? Somebody close to you? Somebody that may have lived in your community? Or spirit wants you to definitely be of service to someone? I'm getting... You guys are... Some of you may be involved in community service or may need to get in community service. It says, making ourselves available to causes bigger than us provide perspective about our own purpose. This card asks how you can become more useful in the fight toward racial, sexual, body, gender, environmental, and class liberation. We all have our special footprint in facilitating change. Service is not charity, but rather a dedicated practice toward social justice. And we all need to do our part. Yeah, so maybe you guys have been... Uh, you guys may have been wronged, uh, whether sexually, and I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, and to even talk about this, this is a trigger warning. But some of you guys may have experienced some sort of trauma in the past, some sort of issues when it came to your racial, like to your race or your sexuality or to your body. Something may have happened, okay? And spirit wants you to turn that into a social justice spirit wants you to take action and actually explore how you can be of service to others at this time how you can help others take your pain and turn it into purpose sort of thing i'm getting a lot of you do want to take a vacation spirit is asking you to go on a trip take a food tour around your city and visit new neighborhoods this card suggests an opportunity to travel new experiences will shake up the monotone uh, monotony you feel and remind you of life's simple joys so yeah you guys need to take a trip some of you may be taking a trip like i said i'm getting somewhere tropical spirit wants you to go ahead and enjoy life's simple joys like just just being in the presence of like water or just being around like animals whatever it is that you need to do to get grounded maybe you just need to switch it up I get that way too when I want to go somewhere. I just feel like, okay, I need something different. I need to switch it up. I need to travel. I need to do something different, okay? Yeah, you guys may feel like, okay, this is, I could really use a vacation at this time. Maybe work is like a lot and you just want to take a break. Even if you take some time off and just sleep. <laughs> Spirit wants you to get out and just do something. Okay, there is always something new to be learned. When you step outside of your comfort zone, swim in new water, and step on new land. Yeah, you guys are being encouraged to do something new. Like, do something that you would normally not do. You never know. This may be something that helps you see the big picture. This is going to be something that brings in some sort of balance spiritually for you. Um, it's going to help you see your ideal future. But if you do want to see your ideal future, uh, maybe you need to start making a plan, plan ahead. Start thinking a little bit bigger, okay? Like the white picket fence sort of bigger. Or if you're into that or how, whatever it is that you consider uh, your big picture. Okay, so it says, today you might define a new version of the white picket fence life based on your personal values and aspirations. Keep this ideal in mind when choosing where to invest your energy. This card shows up when you focus uh, I'm sorry, this card shows up when your focus is on what's right in front of you and the, min and the small things in life, when in reality there are much bigger fish to fry. Will you remember this situation a few years from now? Does it have an impact on the grand future you see for yourself? What you are building is meant to, to last. So there is something that you're not seeing the big picture about. There's something you're working towards right now that's going to be something that's actually going to last. Something that actually is meant to have like a foundation, okay? Yeah, you may even be losing sleep over this. I'm getting your manifesting, but you, you may be feeling like you're losing sleep because you feel like you, you're not grinding enough. You're not making enough money or you're not working enough. You may feel like your wishes aren't coming true, but they are. They are definitely coming true. Your wishes are coming true, okay? Spirit wants you to keep going, keep manifesting. Some of you guys may have to write it out. Some of you guys may have to speak it out in affirmations, but it's coming. Even if it seems like it's not, it's coming, okay? Let's see, what else do we have for you, Aquarius? Let's see what your healing messages are. 
one more for Aquarius. And you may be impatient with someone in your energy, possibly a Cancer or a Gemini or a Leo, because somebody does not say what they mean. And this makes you sad, okay? This makes you really sad that somebody doesn't say what they mean. And let's go ahead and see what this is about. Let's go ahead and see what this energy is. What is say what you mean, spirit? Yeah, whether there's this is you not saying what you mean or there was someone like a Gemini or a Taurus not saying what they meant, okay? We'll see. What is say what you mean? What is say what you mean? Yeah, there's a Cancer possibly, a Knight of Cups. This person, this person wants to say, like tell you how you, they feel. They want to tell you that they're in love with you. Gemini possibly. Okay, somebody definitely, somebody wants to date you. They want to have a connection with you. This is somebody you have a passionate connection with. It may have felt like, oh, this is destined. This is my soulmate, you know. What's this, two of wands? Somebody might feel like they can't have a future without you. But this person is in bad boy, bad girl energy, okay? And you're being protected. You're being protected. You're, you're headed in the right direction and headed towards your emotional fulfillment. I'm getting Archangel Michael is definitely protecting you at this time. You are avoiding a tower because this Knight of Cups, this person does not want to change. They like being that bad boy, okay? Somebody also may have gotten some bad information. Somebody may have gotten some bad information. This person may drive a black car. Yeah, I'm getting, possibly you got bad information about this person and you decided to heal. You decided to heal your broken heart and put yourself back together. Somebody also may have gotten bad news about a Queen of Cups, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, a baby mama figure or mother figure, and they're trying to heal. Somebody's, I'm hearing somebody's mom might have passed away and I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, I'm also hearing that somebody got bad news. Okay, what is this higher font? What is this higher font? Okay, so all the way under the table. Just give me one second, guys. Okay, yeah, I'm getting you are following the divine at this time. You're getting your spiritual gifts. And you don't regret moving on from something. Possibly a Virgo. Or something in your past. Somebody may not regret moving on from this person. Yeah, Spirit is asking you to stay guarded and keep your guard up at this time. Some of you may be heading uh, towards a King of Pentacles. Somebody that's uh, successful, abundant. What's this King of Pentacles? Okay, I'm also getting that somebody may have taken a leap of faith going towards a uh, King of Pentacles, or this King of Pentacles took a leap of faith going towards this Queen of Wands in reverse because they were under black magic. Somebody was definitely under black magic. Okay, you were being protected from something because somebody was working behind the scenes with uh, someone, okay? Yeah, you don't want to move. You don't want to work on something with someone. Then you wanna, you wanna move away, or you've moved away from this. Somebody's choosing not to work on something, possibly with a Virgo or a Capricorn or a Leo. Yeah, somebody's definitely in their head about you because you've decided to walk away. Somebody's hurt, but this King of Cups is maturing because of this. Somebody's getting in touch with their emotional side. Okay. They're definitely getting in tune with their emotions. And now somebody wants to say what they mean. What's this, in, what's this patient in reverse? What's this patience in reverse? Yeah, somebody is very impatient because all they do is think about you. I'm getting some of you may have a father figure watching over you. 
or if a child passed away, a child is watching over you, a, a baby. If this was a son, I'm also getting that maybe someone's dog may have passed away or someone's reminiscing about something, possibly a Cancer or Leo. Yeah, somebody definitely is impatient because they see you as a soulmate and they want to reconcile. This person is very heartbroken because you've moved on and you took a leap of faith and went into a new direction. Okay, yeah, you guys took a leap of faith and went into a new direction because somebody was keeping a lot of secrets. So you decided to trust your intuition and go into a different direction. You went towards something that you were passionate about. You followed your passions. I'm getting somebody went towards a, a queen of pentacles, a gold digger, and was keeping secrets. Somebody was just chasing sex, like somebody was very passionate about this queen of pentacles, this gold digger. They may have reconciled with this person and they had a past history with this person. Yeah, I'm getting somebody was definitely non-committal though. And you decided to put up your guard with this person. This is King of Pentacles. This is King of Pentacles. Okay, I'm getting that you started to move forward towards your future. And your future was with possibly a King of Pentacles, a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Or this is you. Some of you guys decided to move forward and focus on your, your legacy, building your legacy, okay? This other person was a gold digger and you decided to move forward. Somebody was unstable. Possibly an Aries. There was an Aries possibly that was unstable in your energy. This person didn't have any financial security. Somebody might have gotten stuck because they reconciled with the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, and now somebody's stuck and insecure and they have to heal. You're deciding to hold on to you. You're deciding to protect your energy at this time. Even though you're passionate about something, you're not you're not giving in. And I'm getting there is a Queen of Pentacles, a gold digger that's going to court. But things are not going in their favor, okay? What is this? Yeah, you decided to put your guard up and end a cycle and close out a cycle with someone. Because somebody was non-committal. A bunch of secrets came out about a Pisces. Somebody that might have been doing black magic on this person. Yeah, and you decided to cut out this King of Pentacles. Somebody may have even been demoted spiritually. But somebody is manifesting you because they see you in your future, in their future. But somebody got a lot of bad news because they were keeping so many options. Somebody got bad news that, you know, they were keeping options and one of them ended up pregnant. Yeah, somebody ended up pregnant in the situation. A Taurus possibly. But this Knight of Cups that went towards this person, they're not in love with them. They're not in love with them. This person is just like a gaslighter. I'm getting somebody is a knight. They don't, they don't, they don't mean what they say. This person may be trapped with a Libra, or they might be trapped now with child support payments. They may be going to court. And I'm getting somebody. Whether this is you, I already know this is you. You awakened to something and you decided to move forward. And somebody is definitely in their head about that. Somebody's depressed that you've awakened and decided to move forward. Somebody did not expect you to heal your heart, okay? They thought they hurt you just enough or you would always be there. But you healed, okay? You know somebody might be having financial problems. Spirit wants you to keep your guard up when it comes to this person and don't give them any help, don't give them any money. Hold on to your bag, like literally hold on to your bag if this person tries to come and ask for money. Because somebody made the wrong decision. What else Aquarius? 
Yeah, somebody made the wrong decision and now they feel hopeless. Now they feel hopeless and they don't want to work together with someone. Somebody could live with someone and they don't want to work together with this person. Yeah, they're having financial issues. Somebody is having so many financial issues, okay, that they are stuck at this time and they can't even come towards you if they wanted to. Yeah, this person may see you as emotional fulfillment. But you've moved forward. You've healed. You're healing. Okay, this is a missed opportunity. Somebody thought the grass was greener on the other side. This narcissist that wanted to just be in bad boy energy or this woman that wanted to, whoever. Okay, narcissism does not have any type of gender specific uh, sort of thing. And neither does tarot. So take it how it fits. Somebody is stuck in that toxic energy. They're stuck there. What is this sexual arts card that's coming up? What is sexual arts? What is sexual arts? What is sexual arts here? Okay, let's see. I have three come out. Somebody may feel insecure because... They may be sick. Yeah, somebody may be sick having a lot of hardships and stuff financially. I'm getting, you were being protected from something. Somebody is not in their power. Somebody just thinks with their wand, okay? They just jump into something and think with their wand. Yeah, you don't trust this person. But this person does want to come back and reconcile with you because they're having money problems. But you freed yourself from this, okay? You freed yourself from this situation with this Knight of Cups. You freed yourself. Somebody's going to court, whether spiritual or physical, a Scorpio possibly. Doesn't have to be a Cancer. Yeah, somebody wants to reconcile, but I'm getting a lot of you may spend some time with friends. You may be hanging out with friends or you're about to. What's this interest? Yeah, somebody's definitely having to pay some sort of money in court regarding a baby. Yeah, somebody's paying some sort of money. What is this? Yeah, they're paying money to someone that they don't even love regarding their child. They have to, they're stuck because they're someone that got pregnant. Now somebody wants to invest in you. Now somebody's like, oh, I need to invest in Aquarius because they're stuck. This person was so busy having sex everywhere. Then, yeah, this person does not love this Taurus or this mother figure. Someone is heartbroken. Because they want to be single. Okay, this person wants to be single. But they feel stuck. Because of money. Somebody feels stuck because of money. Or finances. With this Queen of Wands. This person that may have done the black magic on this person. This Queen of this Queen of Wands, this Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Somebody is stuck with this person. Somebody may have even contracted an STD they can't get rid of from this person. For some of you, not all of you. Yeah, what did I say? Somebody needs to heal. But they're not doing the work. They're not trying to heal. Somebody is not doing the work. They don't want to heal. Mr. Five of Wands. Yeah, you freed yourself. I'm getting you freed yourself, okay? You decided that, hey, I need to start thinking about my future. I need to make plans and I need to worry about my legacy. I need to focus on my wealth. I need to focus on building myself up. You guys decided to free yourself from all this drama. Or you're going to decide to do this. Or this person is going to do this. They're going to free themselves. What's this seven of swords? 
Yeah, so this Queen of Wands was deceitful. Like I said, somebody met somebody just like them. This Queen of Wands was deceitful and insecure. And somebody went towards something because of money, because of social status, and because of wealth. But I'm also getting you guys are about to have your finances balanced. You're working on your independence. You're working on your, uh, your pinnacles. You're working on being a better version of yourself. I'm getting you guys are smiling more. You're spending more time in nature. Your, your money is about to be financed. Uh, finance. Your money is about to be balanced. Your pinnacles are about to be balanced at this time. Yeah, you are walking in your north node. You are the star. You are healing. You're recovering. And you're sitting here. Um, you're doing the work. You are doing the work. Okay. Spirit wants you to do the work. Continue to do the work. Yeah, this King of Cups was manipulative. They were keeping secrets and they came out about the Pisces. Maybe you found some information out or you looked something up. Now somebody wants to come back to you because some more secrets came out about a Pisces. Doing black magic and causing setbacks in this person's life. This person is toxic, okay? They're in devil energy. Somebody may have a lot of sex addictions, drug addictions. They're just in toxic energy. Somebody's really unstable. They're unstable in a family situation, okay? Somebody's very unstable. One more. I'll take one more. I'll take one more. One, one, one. Okay. Oh, you may be saying one, one, one. Yeah, somebody's stuck. They're stuck. They thought they were going to have emotional fulfillment. And they were going to be happy, but they're not. They're stuck in their head that they're not happy emotionally. Somebody was just narcissistic and dark. And this is why this cycle didn't end for them. Okay? Somebody was probably involved in some sort of... This person may have been a warlock. This person may have met their match. Like I said, there was a connection that was mirrored. Somebody met their match. Somebody met somebody just like them, vibrating just as low as they're vibrating. Okay? And this may have, you know, felt, this may have made you feel so sad and like in inner tur turmoil. Like somebody literally put a hole in your soul. But you're done procrastinating on yourself. You're done. You're not procrastinating on you anymore. You're focused on yourself at this time. You may be healing your sacral energy. Somebody likes to have sex because they heal through sex, I'm hearing. Okay, let's get an angel message for you and then some spiritual advice. What else for Aquarius? What, what message do you have for Aquarius spirit? What message do you have for Aquarius? Can I get an angel? Oh, thank you. So... It says, as you consistently save for your future, your future is saved. You do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds. This is a part of your self-care and path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose. So you guys are being asked to start saving money at this time, something for your future. This is a, a practice of self-care. It's saving money and planning for a future, okay? You're being asked to start saving for that future. <clears throat> Excuse me. So your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality. Crowdfunding, partnerships, and other investments are available to help you. So some of you guys um, are not exploring the other opportunities that you can have to help with uh, finances. Okay, there may be some partnerships that you can work in or uh, investments that are available to you that can help with finances. Spirit wants you to, to go ahead and pray and ask for what you need, but also take action. Go look for some of these things that can help with um, help you with funding what you're looking to fund. Possibly an idea. Okay, you may have dreams of abundance. As you sleep, God, your angels, and your higher self 
are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your desires into reality. So you guys need to keep uh, pay attention to your dreams, especially during the Mercury retrograde. We're going to be getting dreams, and these dreams are going to be important. They may have a lot of ideas, and I'm getting there is one idea that um, could bring in a lot of money, something that is really important for your life's purpose, okay? Pay attention to this dream or pay attention to it because it's going to come to you right when you need it to because it's supposed to bring some sort of abundance into your life. I'm hearing you're going to have so much wealth, so much like a, a legacy to leave behind, generational wealth. Okay, but spirit wants you to block out distractions. Some of you guys are definitely falling into some dis uh, distractions. Spirit wants you to block this out. Don't let this come in between you and your 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 blessing and your purpose. Okay, your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important. You already know what these distractions are and you have the power to responsibly block them out. So I'm hearing some of you guys do get distracted with um, social media and spirit is cautioning you to take your time and spend some time in self-reflection and meditation, okay? Okay, so you guys are definitely in the, the, the mood to attract, not chase, or you need to be. Spirit wants you to attract, not chase. Anything or anyone you chase after will definitely run the other way. Because of the fears underlying chasing energy, instead attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude, and welcoming energy. Yeah, so I know that I used to chase what I wanted back in the day, but now I'm just really in the mood to attract, okay? If you vibrate high, you keep your frequencies high, you do the work, you will attract what it is you need to attract. Spirit just wants you to focus on those priorities. Focus on those priorities, okay? And you will receive the outcome that you're destined to receive. You may have some fear. You may have some anxiety. Okay, so even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. Because there is a windfall of abundance that will be coming your way. Something is going to be given to you that's going to help with your life purpose. Something that will help with your health and be able to help you be charitable to other people, okay? Okay. But Spirit definitely wants you to sever any bad words that you may be speaking over your abundance. Spirit wants you to speak words of abundance, power words, powerful words that are going to attract what you need. You have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerfully positive words. So always describe your own and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms. And that is what you attract for yourself and others. Yeah, you guys are definitely going to be attracting something. Spirit is going to balance the situation and you're going to get some sort of abundance, a windfall of abundance. But you have to learn how to be the abundance that you're trying to attract. You have to learn how to live in an abundance mindset because the mindset is, is it's everything. If your mindset is poverty and you think in a poverty stricken way, you're going to manifest poverty so fast. The same works for manifesting abundance. You just got to keep your mind in an abundant manner. But you're an Aquarius. Like, in my opinion, healing is nothing. You know how to heal. You do this every day, okay? You do this. This is your territory, okay? I learn from you guys when it comes to stuff like this. So let's see. What else does Aquarius... What is Aquarius' spiritual advice to close this message? What's Aquarius' uh, spiritual advice? What is a phrase spiritual advice? Okay, definitely uh, you may be making an investment that's going to be beneficial. Whether you're invested in yourself or you're investing into a career, spirit wants you to know that the seeds you're planting are going to grow. Even if you feel impatient and you're like, when is this going to grow? You're being called to look at the seed that you planted whenever you planted that seed to where you are now. Look how much you've grown. Never forget where you started. Where you started to where you're at now to where you have to go. Like, it's a journey. And the journey itself is very healing, very, very powerful, okay? But I'm getting, somebody is definitely also in your energy thinking about an investment they made with someone they're not in love with. Somebody wants a fresh start with you. They want to come clean about something and offer you some sort of 
small offering. Yeah, but this person is in an unhappy family situation with someone they don't love. Yeah. Yeah, somebody wouldn't change. They didn't want to change, okay? They didn't want to change. They want a new start. They want a new beginning, but they don't want to change. They just want you to chase them. This is Empress. Yeah, somebody wants to come forward and tell you the truth about how they don't love this family that they've made and they're not happy. You know, somebody just won't change. If somebody doesn't see you, um, a future without you, somebody definitely doesn't see a future without you. But yeah, I'm getting, you're spending time healing. You spent some time doing some work and now you're, you're attracting a king of pentacles in your life, a higher level commitment. Some of you guys may have gotten married to this king of pentacles. You guys are in empress energy. You're going to be working together with someone who's actually going to bring in some sort of balance in your life. You guys may come up with a really big idea for the community or for the world and help work together to achieve something. Something is going to be beneficial. Something is going to put you in your power. You have a lot of power. Okay, even if this connection isn't the thing that puts you in your power, some of you are the healing will put you in your power. I'm getting you guys are definitely healing. And some of you are artists. You like to draw. I'm getting you guys are definitely meant to be powerful. Yeah, you guys are definitely following the divine. You're walking in spiritual guidance. You're being led. You're being led. You took a leap of faith and you're trusting the divine. Your, your steps are being guided. You're willing to just take a leap of faith and go in the direction the divine is taking you. Whatever the divine is taking you towards, you're trusting your steps, okay? You're not... You're not dealing with any drama. You freed yourself from that. You don't want to deal with that. But there is somebody coming towards you and they're breaking a commitment, a long-term commitment. Somebody may be moving out from somebody they used to live with. Yeah, and choosing not to move forward with this person because they feel trapped or they may be going to jail. Yeah, so... I'm getting, this could have been you. You decided to move, to break a long-term commitment, move out, and decided not to move forward with someone. Somebody that made you feel trapped and stuck. You decided to let this person go and focus on yourself. Yeah, and somebody is definitely stuck and hurt that they let you go. Somebody is going through the ten of swords right now. They are hurting. They feel backstabbed and betrayed. Because they're having financial issues. They're having money problems now. And they're in a lot of regret. With a lot of burdens. Yeah, somebody has a lot of burdens on them now that you've decided to detach. What else? Yeah, so what did I say? Somebody is really heartbroken. I'm hearing lovesick over you. Somebody is lovesick. This King of Cups. This Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This person may like to pretend for the world on social media that they're fine, but they're not. They're in their bed crying about you, okay? Somebody was definitely a gas lighter. Somebody liked the breadcrumb. You put your guard up with this person. You were like, I'm not dealing with this gold digger energy. Somebody that just wants to run towards somebody for an opportunity. An opportunist. Okay, I'm also here a scammer. And somebody is ready to change. Whether you believe this person or not, Aquarius, that's going to be up to your intuition. But somebody is trying to come back to someone they loved. Somebody is trying to come back to you. Whether you're going to be moved on with someone else and married and happy when they do, hey, this person is going to be in regret. Stuck with their burdens because you've healed. You've healed. You're the high priestess. They went back to this Pisces, and this is what happened, okay? They wanted to give to this Pisces. And now they're unhappy. They're, they have a lot of emotional unfulfillment. And they don't trust the person they're with. They feel like this person caused a lot of instability in their life. And they do want to communicate that to you. They want to try to see if they can balance it with you. Now that this truth is out about who this Pisces or Libra or Scorpio was. Now they're like, uh-uh, I don't want to move forward with this person. I don't want to work on 
on this family situation with this person. Somebody may have honestly been gossiping about somebody and somebody may have caught an STD and somebody may have lied to keep someone stuck. Yeah. And now someone has to heal and recover. They have to heal. But your healing also balanced this situation for you. Okay? You had to sit there heartbroken while this person wasn't. And now they're depressed because maybe even a child might not be theirs. Yeah, somebody's depressed that a child might not even be theirs. They're heartbroken. They wake up having nightmares every night. Wishing that they didn't reconcile with someone. Because they feel stuck. They wish that they didn't like make you chase them. Yeah, they got some sort of bad news and now they're in a lot of regret. Okay, so I do see a lot of good things coming in your uh, energy, Aquarius, though, for you. Just keep doing the work and keep healing, okay? Anyway, this is going to be for Aquarius. It was nice during your reading, Aquarius. And bye, Aquarius.